Okay, so part three of my cube collection. Um, it's just the rest of my puzzles. So, starting off with the beast of all my puzzles, my Gigaminx. A really awesome puzzle. Mine got like really good over time. Like you can finger trick these. And it's like an amazing puzzle. He's so amazing, I want to keep it in the background for the rest of the movie. <laughs> then we have a Tetris cube. The objective is to take the pieces out and put them in any of the ways it says it has. Um, 9,839 9, solutions. So that's awesome. Then we have the Rubik's Revolution. My parents got me. It's pretty cool. Mini Revolution. Pretty cool. My square one that I was modding and then I accidentally broke two pieces. Well, actually, hold on. I broke one of these pieces and two corners. So I'm just going to buy two square ones. Because this one's a bump square one. I'm not sure if you can tell. But oh well. This is my Rubik's 360. Yes, it is Rubik's 360 brand because it says it right here. I mean Rubik's brand. Rubik's 360. Um... This is my Rubik's UFO. I bought this from Skate Ratagy. Don't really subscribe to him because he actually gave his account away. So it's probably someone else who owns the account. So yeah. This is my 7x7. I lubed it and it turns off him. Precise comparison of the Gigaminx. That's how big it is. Um, this is my Tetraminx that I made out of my crappy Pyraminx. And this is actually really good. Yeah. This is my Pyraminx, my Speed Pyraminx. You know it's my Speed Pyraminx. Look, look at the stickers. Oh my gosh. Anthony, why do you use this so much? <laughs> this is my QJ brand. Let me move this up. My QJ brand 5x5. It is very cool. Turns nice, and the tiles are like really cool. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um. This is my Mega Minx, China Minx, to be precise. Um, turns really good, and it has the same color scheme as the Giga Minx. Um, this is my 4x4 that I modded. Rubik's Ren, I didn't do the Squirkle mod because that like messes up your cube. I'm not sure if they're awesome to do it. And I did this mod to the stickers where you grab, it kind of messed up the stickers too. You get like um, a high um, grit of sandpaper and you go it over the stickers easily and it feels like texture tiles will skid proof stickers to be exact. And what I did was I sanded down, I'm not sure if you can see, but I sanded down the sides. See, sanded it down. Um, this is my fail mod. It's just I never got to sticker it and stuff. It's a master after gun bureau. And I didn't finish filling some pieces like that one and that one. Hey, that's the same piece. Made from Ishin Pro Wrestling. This is my 1980s Pure Minx. I don't play with it a lot because it sucks and look at the texture because it will just pop on you every 10 seconds so I hate it but it's good for 1980s 
Okay. This is my Ryzen 4x4 white. I actually got this from Husky Omega too. In May. Ah. Um just for Asian full by four. This is my Rubik's 5x5. Five five. Some of my puzzles aren't solved because I have a four-year-old sister that likes to come in here and touch my stuff. So yeah. Stickers are still in good shape. This is my first Rubik's Cube record. That just popped. Oh my freaking gosh. What a freaking fail. I don't want to put this back together. No. Uh, I hate putting these things back together. Let me just set this aside. Um. Next is my VQ5, amazing. It turns amazing, but the stickers, I've had this since February. Um, broken in, great puzzle. And let me have the brain racker, you just take these out and swish, swash, swish. So you really don't care. Then we have this 15 puzzle, pretty much is 19% mixed up, and it's mixed, no it's not, yes it is, no, oh. because my big sister likes to play with it, um, and we bring you over here, sorry for the messy room, I have my black Yishin 4x4, I'm um, taking out the stickers and putting them on here. Pink side for the win. Yellow side. My Ishii 404 feels heavier than this. So, yeah, let me go downstairs and there's more puzzles. Oh, I forgot to show you over here. It's all my supplies. Burp. I have the cube book, which there's going to be a review on soon. Um, Beat solving the cube book review on it soon. My first can of Jigaloo, well, second can, I use this the most. Um, we got two magics in the back. Magics. We have like 25 Rubik's Cube stands with some up there, some up there. Yeah, and we have a VQ7 and VQ5 box. Then we have my. 4x4 Evil Twin that I'm trying to fix. Um, my broken 2x2 Magic. And some tiles. Let's go downstairs. Okay, so we're downstairs in my basement and we have a broken Mini 3x3. We have my screwdriver. Have to put together a 2x2 Ice Cube. My other thing, a Jigaloo. Some stuff, cutters. My 6x6. That I think the pieces are broken. I don't know. Cutter cube stuff stickers. Extra pieces to my Gigaminks and the stickers in the back. I think there's an extra center cap in there. Um core. A bunch more stuff. Jigaloo cap. Some sandpaper and so yeah, um, be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. Ah! Uh...